11 disturbing allegations mount against a now missing former Cooper City Middle School teacher and today a third student came forward with allegations of sexual abuse. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live outside the school where the man used to work. Carrie. Rick, the campus here in Neural Islam obviously closed for the evening, but news of this allegation by a third former student against a former teacher here, Tariq Ahmed, are renewing calls for the arrest of Ahmed. I did speak via email with Ahmed's attorney tonight. He told me that he would not be commenting on these latest allegations. Attorney standing outside the Nur Ul Islam Academy in Cooper City Tuesday announced that a third former student claims this man, former teacher and head of the high school, Tariq Ahmed, sexually abused her. The lawyers allege the school knew of the abuse on the girls and covered it up. This is not going to stop. We are going to uncover all of the victims in this particular case, and we're going to bring these defendants to justice. Attorneys for the young women allege that between 2006 and 2008, Ahmed set up off-campus meetings with the girls, even developing a secret code that he used on a school chalkboard to set up meeting times and places. A grooming process occurred, um, a sexual abuse set of acts occurred, um, same sort of MO, same sort of, uh, of horrific damages that were inflicted upon the person. The Neural Islam Academy did not respond to Tuesday's allegation by the third accuser, but released a statement last week after the first two girls came forward, saying, recently we have become aware of disturbing allegations regarding a former teacher. The statement continued upon learning of these allegations. The academy immediately suspended the teacher's employment. We can't uh, say that he did it or he didn't do it. We don't know. Parents are learning of the disturbing details. Do you have daughters who go to school here? Yeah. Would you trust your daughters with him? Yeah. Yes. We went to an address listed for Ahmed, but no one answered the door. Attorneys say there is an arrest warrant for Ahmed, but he either fled the area or is in hiding. They will not be allowed to stick their head in the sand or intimidate or put down kids or do any acts which offend the very nature of what our society is built on, the protection of kids. Neither the Broward State Attorney's Office nor the Pembroke Pines Police Department, which investigated this case, would comment today. The attorneys for the victims say if you know where Ahmed is or know of any other victims in this case, contact the Pembroke Pines Police. Live in Cooper City, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.